Hey y'all, it's Robert with Armadillo Outdoor Adventures. I want to thank you for stopping by. Today I got an awesome show for you. I'm going to be extending the blank on one of my rods, and then I'm going to put a new bud on it. Y'all are going to like this. It's awesome. Come check it out. First thing I'm going to do is strip the old grip off. And I'll cut in and go all the way down it a few times. I'll go, I'll cut deeper whenever I can get both hands on it. But I'll cut down, get my few, myself a few slits, and in a few different places, and then I'll rip it off there. All right. See, we're getting down to the blank. trying to do this without getting in the way of the camera. That's where I got it. I've worked on it just a few minutes now. Okay, next thing I do is take the handy dandy palm sander and clean up what's left. 120 grit. Next thing I do is take a little bit of paper towel and some rubbing alcohol, clean it up, and this is what it looks like now that we've cleaned it down. All right, this is an old ugly stick, and what I'm gonna do is make it match, match up. So, cut this piece off a while back, 
I got to bring the length out. This is only nine inches. We're going to bring it out to 12. We're going to make it a good full fighting butt. Probably an inch of overlap, which you'll see in just a minute. I'm going to take the hacksaw, cut it at about here, give it about four or five inches, maybe six inches. That'll give me an inch of overlap. Here's how I had to do this to keep the diameters pretty close. This is a piece that I cut from the ugly stick a while back that is from further up the stick with a smaller diameter. This one kind of halfway fits like this. So what I'm going to do is slide this one in and then slide this one over it. Like so. That'll keep it nice and, nice and straight. When it's said and done, that's what I'll have, and then I'll trim it to fit. So, Pick these two rods up at a place on Lake Fork that specializes in selling used rods and reels. They also repair both rods and reels. I got an awesome deal on them. They're American rods, and they're awesome for fighting channel cat. But the butts were just too short, so I decided to, uh, to take on the task myself. All right, I'm going to take my epoxy glues and my popsicle sticks and mix it 50-50, and then I'll start putting everything together. So here we go. Got this one in. I'll take it and i clean that end of the knife off, or the clean that end of the popsicle stick off so I can hold it, and I'll flip it around. Take a little dip out of here. I get about... Get about 50-50. Then I'll mix it up. I'm going to use my other hand. Alright, I got it mixed up where it's a pretty consistent color right now. Take the smaller diameter piece. Take a little bit of this. Put it on about where I think it's going to connect the best. Slide it off in there. in there like that right there. Take my handy dandy popsicle stick. Cover it pretty good. I'm going by the, the bigger end of this. Kind of spin it on there until it connects pretty good and it's pretty straight. And that looks pretty darn straight to me. Then I take my paper towel with the alcohol on it. I like that. It ain't going nowhere. All right, we're going to take this to 12 inches. I'm going to let that dry good enough to cut it off. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut my EVA at 12 inches. I'm going to cut that about a quarter inch long. Go ahead and clean my bench again. I'm cutting, cutting the blank about a quarter inch long. Because I'm putting this butt on there, this rod butt. It's got the little, little anodized aluminum. It's got the little anodized aluminum piece, a ring on it. Nice uh, trim ring, kind of puts everything together. 
um, fits really good I think it'll be real nice so I'm gonna cut this at 12 inch cut the EVA at 12 inches if you can see it it's pretty nice I marked it wrong but it'll be all right All right, this is my drill press. Collars on it. I got a mandrel in there with two set collars, a piece of three eighths rod, and I'm going to slide this up. All the way to the top, and you can see the cut mark. Now it's going to turn counterclockwise up looking up from the bottom. Got to keep that in mind because uh, if you try to cut it with the knife parted out, it's, it'll hurt you if you cut the wrong way. So, we'll cut it in just a second. All right, and I'm gonna take, take my knife. All right, once I got it parted, we'll put the set collar on the bottom of it. Kind of squeeze it up in there a little bit. You're getting tight so it doesn't slip. It kind of sets it solid. All right, I want to kind of match my ends. I'm going to take and I'm going to measure the outside of my butt cap right here, which I'm measuring it an inch 35, right around there, an inch 35, 1.035. And then here, the butt, or the end of the reel seat, is right around an inch 100. So if I can get them pretty close to that, I'll be, be good. Each end, I'm going to work to get close. I'll just put a taper down to each end. I use a little bit of sandpaper. It's just 150 grit. Stick it back. paper resting against it or it'll try to wobble on you. Okay, we're going to make the bottom end a 1 inch 035. So I'm going to take a little bit more off of it. Just kind of want to taper it until it hits right, until I'm happy with it. And that is pretty darn close. I'm willing to bet. One inch right there, so we'll be just under it. And if I need to trim it a little bit, it won't be that big a deal. Just a regular set screw, set collar, regular set collar. All right, that one got a little bit crooked, but nobody will notice once I squeeze everything together. A little taper on one end here. See? A little taper on that end. It'll look good when it's said and done. We'll squish it up there, it'll look great. All right, next step, we're going, we're gonna measure it out. So what I'm gonna do is say, lay, it, lay it up there and take my china marker and make a mark. Remember, I'm going a little bit long on the blank. Just a hair long, and I'll cut inside the line there which will give me about a quarter of an inch. All right, once we're at this point where I've just cut the tail end of the blank off to fit the needs, you'll notice it's just a little long, maybe quarter inch. I may have to trim it some more. I'm gonna let that blank with them pieces sit for about an hour, two hours, just to 
I'm going to set it aside and let it sit and dry. Uh, these are some of my favorite channel cat rods, so we want it to do right. These are some of my Next thing I'm going to do is make the ID fit. I got to make it fit without just too much of a fight. We want it to be somewhat tight, but not so tight you can't get it on. So in doing that, I use I've got a set of these I got a set of these reamers. I'll chuck them up in the drill. I'll chuck them up in the drill. And ream the inside out. Check it on the other end. All right, we're going to step up to the next reamer. All right. All right, another dash of this here, of the Pro Paste. Last time I didn't use as much hardener as I should have, so it's still a little, a little bit uh, gummy. So we'll just have to be careful with it. Yeah, here we go. Mixing it up. Try to get one consistent color. <laughs> that raw butt right in the way. All right, see? And then I'll put on about the back. I only like to put this on about the back two thirds when I'm doing a grip. That way, as I'm sliding the grip up on there, because it's not completely easy to get on there. It's dragging it up there with it. I want to take off, but I clean off of this other end over here. Whenever I slide it up, what I clean off of this end, I'll use to put the butt on. Otherwise, I'll just mix some more. Not a big deal. This is strong stuff. All right, make sure we got the right end. That end. All right, away we go. Now, I want, I've looked at it, I kind of want that end sticking up. I don't want that sticking up, so I'll have to keep that in mind as I'm feeding this on there. Yep. Now, what I'm probably fixing to have to do is set it on the floor, push it. After a straight up bare knuckle fight, I got it on there. I didn't ream it out long. I didn't ream it out far enough. Should have should have made it a little bit easier, but I didn't. It it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta embrace the suck. So I'm gonna wipe it down a little bit. Wipe it down. Now I left the reel on it so that I'd have something to hold on to. It gives me a little bit more of a handle. Now I'm putting the butt cap on it. The end sticking out just a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do is, is take and put some of this in in that butt cap. And we'll take the rest of this is what I've taken off. And I want to get that on there pretty good. When this stuff dries, 
and dry as solid as a rock. I like that. All right, a little more alcohol. I'm keeping pressure on the end of that butt. While I'm doing this, I'm trying to make sure that I got the butt cap centered. Pretty good. I think I got it centered pretty good. Give it a good look over. Take another piece of paper towel. Wipe the whole thing down pretty good. With some alcohol. Good afternoon. I'll let it sit in the rack till tomorrow and I'll come back and she'll be good as she was supposed to. I may straighten up the, the foam on it a little bit, but other than that, she's ready to go. All right, here we go. We got the butt on it. We got the grip on it. We've extended the, the blank. She's ready to go fishing. This will make an awesome channel cat rod. It was before, it was just hard to fight with no leverage with the, only a nine inch butt. And it was ugly. So this will make an amazing channel cat rod. And I appreciate y'all for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next go round. These two rods turned out sexy and they're very good for fighting channel cat. I'm super happy with what I did. I want to thank y'all for stopping by. I had just a great time with you. I learned a little something. I hope you did too. Everybody here has helped my channel to grow like wildfire. I'm so grateful to you. Just like I always say in all of my parting shots, if you get a chance, shake the hand of a vet or a first responder, a police officer, fireman, any of them. Tell them how much you appreciate it. Until next time, Y'all have a good one.